Well, I thought we'd take a break to do our hobby corner this week, guys. Oh, yeah. Of course, it's our Look favorite guy, time huh? of the movie. Right, Renfield? You got that right, Laszlo. <laughs> well, we got a great, great show this week, guys. And first of all, we want to introduce our favorite, well, he's a favorite guy to us because we met him this weekend from our Star Trek convention in Portage, Indiana. Bob Herring. How you doing, Bob? Pleasure, Rick. Thank you. Nice hey, to be welcome here. Welcome to Graveyard Theater. <laughs> of course, you know, Bob has starred in a lot of movies, so we got a lot to talk about here. All right. Okay, Bob. To start off with, I guess you were in some Star Trek films. You played Kalos? Uh, the original pilot called The Cage. I was a stunt double for uh, Jeff Hunter. Oh, okay. And uh, then the next time uh, that I worked, it was on Savage Curtain. Okay. I played Kalos, the original Klingon. Which he is, was, of course, uh, we Emperor, have a picture of you here somewhere. Uh -huh. <laughs> Emperor Kalos, the unforgettable. Okay. Very bad dude. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. That was Powerful. on Savage Curtain. And then I was Sam in uh, Charlie X with Robert Walker Jr. Oh, wow. So. Was it fun doing that character on Star Trek? Great. Very enjoyable. Mm -hmm. A lot of fun. Yeah, a lot of fun. So. <laughs> well, of course, There's a lot of laughs when those things don't work like they're supposed to. Right. You know, they, <laughs> the Did it take long to shoot that or during the days, or was it like a day shoot? It was a day shoot, all oh, of wow. them. Oh, well, you were also in... Where, where day shoots, they just shoot during the day. You were also in many, many other things. Let's start out with uh, Tales from the Crypt. Ooh. How was that? Ah, I doubled, uh, a stunt double on that one, doubled Emmett Walsh. Oh. He killed his wife's animals. Mm. And not a very nice man. In retaliation, she killed him and stuffed him because he stuffed all of her animals. Oh, okay. Ah. And when she found her stuffed animals, she stuffed him. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and, uh, and so I, uh, the stunt work involved was falling over the animals, and that's why I got mad, killed them, and stuffed them because I was always tripping and falling down over the animals. Or outside, I fell into the fish pond. Wow. Trying to yeah. grab one of the cats. One you the also, <laughs> you also appeared in Batman and the Green Hornet, which was done at the same studio, 20th Century Fox. How right. was that doing That's that? Right. That's correct. Okay. How was it playing in those two roles on those two series? Uh, that, that was a lot of fun. The uh, the Batman uh, TV shows were were a lot of fun, mm -hmm. and a lot of times you broke up in the scene because the dialogue was so funny. Mm -hmm. Like Adam West, he's <laughs> eating some soup alphabet soup and he looked in the soup and says oh there's a message and he read the message oh. of the alphabet soup <laughs> <laughs> that must have been a lot and, of fun and uh, yeah things like that it was a fun show to work and green hornet was working with bruce right. lee oh. uh, no, that was not so much fun because he was <laughs> A little rough to work with doing martial arts. He, was, <laughs> really? he did it for real. So. He didn't beat on you, did he? Yeah, he beat, he beat <laughs> on you. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. And I doubled him once driving a car. Wow. You also were in, uh, I believe, Night Gallery and uh, I Dream of Jeannie. How what was it like to be on those two episodes? Uh, those, both of those shows, I was doing stunt work. Wow. The Jeannie show, I was driving a car supposedly with nobody in it. Mm -hmm. She made this car go around just because she made it go around oh, yeah, without yeah, her yeah. being there. The old so I was driving the oh, car yeah, on the floorboard <laughs> with a periscope seeing where I'm going and she was wow. supposed to have caused the car to go by itself. That's gotta take a lot of talent. Wasn't the guy in Night <laughs> Gallery kind of strange? Uh, from the sh yeah, he was sort of an eccentric type of guy that played on Night Gallery, is that true? Yeah, I, I was doubling uh, Ross Martin on that show. Mm -hmm. I fell in a pit okay. and tried to get out that's all I remember about it. Really? Being in this pit and trying to get out. Well, I wouldn't, this... want to, I wouldn't forget that either. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, as far as TV shows, that's a pretty good lister. How about as far as movies you've been in? Uh, I guess The Great oh, Secrets? Oh, we got a long which, list of movies. Grave Secrets? What was that Oh, about? Grave Secrets. Which yeah, we may be running on our show, folks. You may yeah, want to look for I was it. Uh, a real bad guy in that. Okay. Oh, but that's fine. And I, <laughs> that's I, the only way to do it. <laughs> I lost my head in a car accident, so I walked around with no head. Well, how'd you fake that one? Uh, <laughs> they, they did it with uh, blue effects. screen, okay. technical ah. stuff. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, I was there with the head, real head, but mm -hmm. somehow they made it look like I didn't have a head. Oh, okay. And then I did a lot of other weird stuff in it, and finally I got vaporized by lightning and some weird effects. So you were in some B-movies. I think this is a B-movie, The Slime People? Yeah, was that, yeah that, was that, a, one my that was a C movie. <laughs> That was a C movie. That okay. was a C movie. Yeah. <laughs> it was a step up. See. Step it was up so movie. bad it didn't come out as a full length feature, so they cut it down okay. to a fee TV length and mm -hmm. put it on a thriller. Okay. And they showed it. Uh, there used to be a series called The Thriller. 
Hmm. Yeah, I think Boris Karloff, Karloff was hosted it. Yeah, he was in that for. And like they made the slime people into a 42-minute oh, okay. less commercial uh, show, and it worked fine as a TV of a shorter length. Well, here's a movie that Graveyard Theater obviously can run: The Monolith it's Monster. Monster. Oh. <laughs> well, <that's, laughs> oh, major B that, movie, folks. We right. it yeah, that was a <laughs> universal cheapo, and <laughs> <laughs> well, ain't they all? They had a lot of uh, effects on that right. thing. Uh, Good ones, Good ones are bad. Are bad. A lot of screen and back view I had all these these things happen that were in miniature and they blew up. And we had a big scene and uh, trying to crowd scene trying to get away from this monster. Right. And we were oh, fighting moment. each other and uh, mm -hmm. Well, here's two good ones. I mean, I've seen both of these, and I thought they were pretty good. The what was your relations in the movie The Black Hole the and The Black Mole People? Hole. Ah, The Black oh, Hole. Moment. I was in space Mole. on wires floating around. Okay. That was it? It was a Walt Disney show. <laughs> okay. Yeah. It was, oh, man. Okay. And now the mole people must have been pretty interesting to be in that movie. Yes. Cool. We were moles crawling out of the holes in the ground on the soundstage. That was, that, you were one of those guys? I was one of the moles. Yeah. Oh, no kidding. Can, Another B movie, which we're probably going to be running. That would have been horrible. Yeah, it was, they're uncomfortable. Yeah. Mole, mole suits are not comfortable. Well, the rubber yeah. mask and stuff like that. We look like rats, but... <laughs> <laughs> Okay, uh, here's some more hey, TV stuff for you real quick. Uh, you appear, oh, here's a good one, folks. He appeared on Melrose Place. He was Amanda's mm. father on that show. And you yes. got blown up on the boat too, didn't you? Yes, I got shot on the boat out in the ocean. <laughs> yeah, I was Heather Locklear's father. Oh, wow. And uh, Kathy Ireland, the model, shot me. Yeah, that's right, she did shoot me now. Yeah, and uh, wow. I don't know if I died or not because they went on to another scene after that. <laughs> wow, you were in a lot. You were uh, you were in um, Mary Tyler Moore show. How was that working with her? Yeah, I won an award instead of Ted Baxter, and he tripped me and I fell over his table, mm -hmm. and uh, then I w waited for him outside. And, and Ed Asner wow. said to Ted Knight, uh, "That guy's waiting for you over there, and he's not too happy." So Ted was going right. to take care of me, and he walked over and. We went outside, and uh, you could hear him say, oh, <laughs> <laughs> he knew he was in trouble. Wow, and you were also on Father Dowling. What was that? Yeah, like? I was the stunt dub double for Tom Bosley on that. Okay. I did all the car, car stuff. It was done in Denver, Wow. Denver, Colorado, and yeah. I, I worked the whole uh, series. Here's my in. favorite, Dallas. Tell me what you did on that show. Dallas. <laughs> that was my I favorite I was show. the stunt coordinator and did parts on it. Really? Did several small parts did you here get, and there. Did, the mean question here, but did you get to do anything with uh, Victoria Principal on that show? Uh, <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That worked with Priscilla later. on it and uh, yeah. Linda Gray. Yeah. And, and you fun. also were on Little House, Little on, the House on the Prairie. Wow. Uh, that goes back. I don't know if you remember the particular episode, but it was called The Big Inning. We had a, a baseball game in hmm. the uh, an old time baseball game in Little House on the Prairie. Wow. And we were tackling ball. each other and like hitting each ball. other in the head with balls, and mm. it was really a, a wild event. <laughs> well, let's get to some of the Western movies you were in. Oh, uh, yeah. Gunsmoke, Bonanza, what was those two like? Well, they were real fun to work. Uh, Jim Arness was a real nice guy, and uh, Mike Landon on Bonanza was super nice. Mm -hmm. And it was uh, real fun to do those shows. Wow. When, you get, when you work with nice people, it makes it real enjoyable. Everything is easy. And uh, if, if any director came on the show and got too rough with the actors, uh, Jim Arness told him to knock it off. Mm -hmm. Be nice to the actors. Well, you were also on Roy Rogers and The Lawman? What was those two sh shows like? Oh, I did a lot of the old Roy Rogers movies. Uh, okay. Cowboy stuff at, at uh, Republic Studios. Yeah, those have a lot of stuff. Wow. It was, yeah. yeah. A lot of uh, running horses. So you were in a lot of westerns. Apparently, this list is pretty impressive. The shows you were yes, on. Yes, it is. is that Very just impressive. The That's just the TV list, isn't it? That was, yeah, TV westerns. Yeah, yeah, TV westerns. All right, these are recent movies which Bob was in. Oh, recently. recent and classic. And classic. Okay, you were on. Uh, you were in Liar Liar with Jim Carrey. Yes. Wait, wait, wait. Check it out. Oh, no, I'm looking at that one. Oh, yeah, we'll, we'll get to that one. Oh, what was Liar yeah. Liar with Jim Carrey like? <laughs> oh. I was driving a car in a junkyard, a Mercedes, and I had to go through all of this uh, stuff and slam on the brakes. And right. I, it was his car, and he was yelling at me because I scratched his car. <laughs> really? Doing, uh, doing all this fast driving. That was a bizarre he movie. He says, I like my car, and I came roaring out of there and bouncing off of cars. And he that was wasn't a pretty too good movie, actually. It. I kind of like that. What was your job? 
does he want? All right, you're on Blazing Saddles. Come on, yeah. you gotta tell her about this oh, one. Yeah, that had have been fun. Uh, I was in the part where they did the big fight and the chase through the movie studios. Okay. So I was just oh. one of many. I wasn't mm. featured in that at all. I was. Oh, really? Yeah, but it was a lot of fun falling in the water and. Lethal Weapon 4. What was like that to do that movie? Which one is that? Lethal Weapon, Weapon 4. Oh! Yeah, we did that down in Long Beach. Um, car chases. Mm -hmm. And uh, mm -hmm. I was involved in one of the cars doing near misses with a camera and car, right. and the one that uh, the guys were, there were two guys chasing each other. Mm -hmm. And we were in among them, and we were doing a lot of crazy stuff. And wow. guys are running off the road into the wall. and. Well, a lot of stuff gets cut out of a picture because when they get finished shooting a the movie, they've got about four hours of film. Yeah, so they start they chopping away and sometimes a lot of things that you do isn't there. Like I worked on Small Soldiers mm -hmm. and I went to see it and the whole sequence I was in was cut out. Oh, man. Now this movie, Real Bravo, what was that one like? Oh, that was John Wayne movie. Yeah, John Wayne that's movie. why I pointed yeah. it out. Pretty yeah, good. I, yeah, yeah, I had a part in there. Uh, <laughs> I was intending to be Dean Martin. Okay. And then I was also Dean Martin doing a fight. <laughs> okay. It gets kind of confusing when, uh, you know, when you jump back and forth. Mm -hmm. Right. So uh, sometimes I like to keep you around. I was on the location in uh, Arizona for about two months on that, and I probably worked about five minutes. Hmm. Okay, you were in True Lies and you were in Bedazzled. What were those two films like? Uh, Bedazzled is coming out, I think, mm -hmm. in another yeah, I knew it was month. Recent. Brendan Frazier and Elizabeth Hurley. She's mm. the devil, and everything yeah. takes place in hell. Right. And there were several. Oh, I saw of us the commercial on that. You're right. I saw the commercial on that film. Oh, kind of neat. Several of us in a hot tub. We're trying to get out of the hot tub, and we're being lashed with whips and poked with cattle prods. Well, I, I have no there. idea why. But really, I wasn't there. Really. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and True Lies. What's that movie all about? Uh, True Lies is when uh, yeah, that was they were on the ho horse and motorcycle running through the uh, right. to one of the hotels in LA that had been closed down. Mm -hmm. That they just keep four movies, this big mm -hmm. huge hotel, Ambassador Hotel. Hmm. And I was one of the guys diving out of the way. So I dived out of the way from the, of the motorcycle and from the horse and we did that for about three days. Diving out of the way. You have to get a lot of bumps and bruises. <laughs> what was Michael Landon? Uh, how how was he as, as far as a guy is concerned? You were in several shows that Michael Landon produced. Yes. What was he? What how, kind of a guy was he? Very very nice. A real nice guy. Very nice. Yeah. Cool. One of the nicest guys uh, anybody has ever worked with. Well, I'll tell you, Bob. This this well, list is Wayne, is man. incredibly impressive. You've oh been in, yeah. Man, this is long long long. You've been doing this for how long have you been doing this actually? My whole life. Because my family uh, rented horses to movies, okay. and I sort of went along with the horses. Mm -hmm. So at first I did nothing but westerns, and then I later involved, evolved into the other stuff. How about if we talk about if people want to be stunt, to get into the stunt work, what they need to do, or what kind of advice would you give the audience out there if they'd like to get into this profession? Well, I just kind of yeah. fell into it, you might oh. say. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you fell into it, okay. Yeah. Um, what advice would you give? Uh, the people? best way is to apprentice yourself to someone who's already doing it, mm -hmm. and have them teach you. And they would know some people who could give you a day's work, mm -hmm. and then you would gradually learn how to do everything. And uh, you plug away, not making much money for four, five, six, seven years, and then boom, you get in and mm -hmm. start and doing it's well. All good. But wow. it's, there's no guarantee. Yeah. Now, I, I believe you reside in California. What part of California are you from? I'm in Thousand Oaks. It's Ventura County. Ventura County. It's next to L.A. County. Mm -hmm. I was in uh, San Fernando Valley near the studios for many, many years, but I don't work as often as I used to, so I uh, moved out where it's a little quieter. Uh, with all the people you've worked with all the all through these years, who is the most eccentric and weirdest person you've ever worked with? <laughs> Let's see if we can get a good one out of that one. <laughs> okay, <here we> go. <laughs> That's one I wasn't prepared for. <laughs> <laughs> Tough question, but I mean, who did you really not enjoy working with that you thought was a little, nah, you know, a little off the wall? Off the wall. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> On the spot. <laughs> well, there were some people a little eccentric. Okay. Uh, like Fred Gwynn. Yeah, all oh, stories about him is yeah, pretty amazing. He was different. Mm -hmm. Oh, you even nice guy, but he was different. You oh, also yeah. stunted for uh, Grandpa Lewis on the monster, yes, right? Yes, yes, on okay. the, the two-hour 
movie special they did for right. TV. He's a character. I drove the hearse or whatever he was driving. I'd forgotten. Oh, wow. And then I climbed a tree and I uh, did some other dumb stuff. That had to be their 1977 Halloween Either special. He's I a think. glutton for punishment or else. <laughs> and then I worked, I, worked, I worked on a set in, the, in their house. Right. Rehearsed and everything, and then they, uh, they start looking at their watches and. Uh, hmm. They pulled the plug and said, okay, everybody go home, and I'm standing there waiting to work. So like, hey. I said, you want me back tomorrow? And they said, no, we don't have time. We're going to just cut out the whole Well, sequence. the most important yeah. question, do you hang out with any famous stars today in California? <laughs> uh, Ernest Borgnine I see a lot of. He's a good friend of yours. Yeah, great guy. Mm -hmm. Real uh, yeah, super guy, really. Oh, wow. And I was a uh, good buddy of Claude Aikens, wow. who was from Indiana. Did you know Lauren Green from Battlestar Galactica? Yeah, I doubled Lauren on uh, Highway to Heaven, oh, where he lifted, lifted on. He was on a stage and mm -hmm. he just went up in into wow. uh, heaven, so to speak. Yeah. He wow. died and just disappeared. And I was doing him on wires, mm -hmm. so I was up about 40 feet on the air with these these wires. Wow! Doubling Lauren. Well, I'll tell you what, uh, Demonica, do you have a question for Bob? While we're looking through all this, I think we've oh, got. Oh man, there's we so have many. Covered, well, pick one. Just ask him one pick question. Renfield, you can ask him a question. I got a too. question. What right, was your most painful stunt? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> we got to put him on the spot now. Yeah, well, I <laughs> crashed in an airplane accidentally on Abbott and Costello meet the Keystone Cops. Oh, that was a good. That was painful. Uh, yeah. Uh, wow. And then I. Horse work can get a little, a little painful, mm. and uh, explosions, well, getting blown up, that can be a little painful, yeah. a little loud, noisy. Yeah. What was it like to stunt on the TV show Buffy the Vampire Slayer? Since that's I pretty dove recent. out of the way of a student driver. I was a professor huh. on campus. Oh, okay. no, we do that around our neighborhood. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was loading stuff in my trunk, and here came this student driver, and I oh, really? dove out of the way. Wow. They were going to make a big deal out of it, and, and uh, like so many shows, they, they just don't have time. They're trying to do a whole day shoot. They're always behind schedule, and so hurry, they're hurry, going to hurry. do something big, and uh, they just they made it make it brief. Well, you also worked with Mr. T on the A Team. What was that like? Oh, I pitied the fool. <laughs> <laughs> Is it really that bad? Was he really that bad? <laughs> Somebody says he's really. Uh, bad. He's, he's got to be a softie. He talked all the time. I Did mean, he really? He, he never stopped talking. <laughs> He ruined quite a few shots because he wouldn't stop talking. You know, oh, he, wow. he was uh, he was Gabby, <laughs> but it was a fun show to to work. The um, the guys on it, the supporting cast were right. fun guys. And you also were in that picture, Dick Tracy, with uh, what was it? Yeah, Warren I Beatty? was a stunt yeah, double Warren for Warren Flat Beatty Top. Flat Top in that. Wow. Well, I'll tell you, this list is really, really oh, impressive. Yeah, we, uh, Very impressive. Uh, was, man, I, mean, I, I can ask you questions all night long. No doubt. I'll tell you, Bob, why don't you tell us a little bit about you and what you do when you're not working or what your hobbies are or what you're involved in. Are you involved in any charity work or do you have any special hobbies outside of working? I, I'm involved in a lot of golf mm -hmm. uh, charity events. Okay. And uh, that, that takes up quite a bit of time. Mm -hmm. And I'm on this board of directors with the Stuntmen's Association, okay. and I'm the parliamentarian on, on that. So being a parliamentarian with a bunch of stunt guys, is, <laughs> which there's 16 of us on the board, and 135 of us all together. Oh, wow. And it's, uh, we're a nonprofit organization of all the stunt guys. Well, you Bob. to keep yourself in good shape for that. Well, Bob, we would like to thank you for being on Graveyard Theater. Of course, this is Bob Heron, and he's an actor, stuntman, and from this list, I can go on and on and on. Oh, no doubt. <laughs> I mean, we well, could take up the whole show with just as Right, interview. I'm telling you. But we'd like to wow. thank you for taking the time to come on Graveyard Theater. Well, thank you. It's my pleasure. Appreciate it very really much. Really enjoyed it. And like, again, guys, we're going to be running some of Bob's horror movies that he's appeared in. <laughs> oh, you bet. You're probably going to see this probably in a couple times in some of the movies that we're running. <laughs> but we'd like to say have a safe trip back. We thank you. a good time with you at the Star Trek convention in Portage, Indiana. And again, we're going to roll back into this movie. <laughs> Four. 
You see, Demonica, that camera's not evil. All I know is that he saved that toe shell from falling. <laughs> I mean, what well, was a good thing, too? I mean, because Papa's son wasn't there. Yeah, for a Japanese movie. Oh, well, here comes Renfield, and he's got our mailbag. Uh, hey, how's it going, everybody <laughs> out there? Hey, Renfield, what's uh, going on? You gotta remind me to never eat turtle soup again. Well, oh, yeah, hard. wait a minute. They must have got lost in the cemetery. Hold on. Oh, okay. Oh, well, don't be afraid you can't linger out Stay. there for too long. Oh hey, my ooh. God! What all the zombies. Ah. These are the people for the I Star remember. Trek convention. Welcome back, the guys. The hey. There you go. Yeah. Hey, how you doing, guys? There well, you without are. makeup, you guys look good. Yeah. <laughs> well, they look good with it too. Okay, I guess you guys have something you want to present us, huh? Yes. In light of your attending our first convention, or the first convention you've attended, our fifth annual convention. Wow. Be it known that on Star Date 10800, Graveyard Theater has been bestowed the freedom the title of Freedom Fighter by the Maquis Freedom Alliance with all rights and privileges therein. Oh, thank you very much. Hi. Wow. Thanks. Wow, this is really nice. Folks, yeah, you guys can see this on camera. That's going on the wall. Kind of neat. This is going to go on the wall. We yeah, really appreciate beautiful. this. And, this is really and nice. This, we, and, uh, this weekend we had a jail and bail and Renfield and DeMonica just kept getting in trouble, but we've got it covered. Next year, you come back. You can cause all the trouble you want. We have get out of jail free cards oh, get for each other. Get out of jail free oh, thank cards. Thank you so much. I need it. Well, anyways, I'll guys, we did shoot some you. footage at your convention where these guys were in jail, and we are going to use that in right. one of our upcoming shows. Yes. Well, he we was in jail. I just you get the witness the beating. <laughs> but we'd like to thank you guys. We had a great time at the convention, and just keep watching the show. We'll have some cool stuff of some of the convention stuff we did do there. But thank you very much. Thank we you. really appreciate it. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Again, yeah. guys, you know, like I said, it was Star Trek. Convention in Port of Indiana. Indiana. We just pre presented here with a nice little award. Oh, yeah, Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Okay, if you guys would like to watch and let's do our mail. I think you guys there. enjoy it. Okay, let's roll with the mail. Something oh, man. Cool, man. We got a lot of mail this week, guys. So let's sit back with this one. This is going to be a long one. There we go. Okay, let's see what we got here. Okay, well, let's see where we're at. We'd like to thank. John Carter, and he says he saw last night's movie, or Saturday night, October 7th, Children Shouldn't Play With Dead Things, one of our best oh, movies. Oh, yeah. yes. Yeah, that it was in was color, great. and there was death, mm -hmm. blood and gore. He says that movie was awesome. I saw it once a long time ago, and I thought it was gone forever. Well, nope. surprise, surprise. surprise. <laughs> Thanks for showing it. Keep, keep digging those moldies but goodies up, and it's, <laughs> yes, Demonica's hot. Yes. <laughs> You're a faithful viewer, John Carter from Chicago. Thank you, Chicago. All right, we got Where one she here. Thank you. We yeah, got one here from uh, George, uh, Nicole, and Craig Sims. It says, "What's up? I've been watching your show for about a month now, and I think you guys are great. The movies, uh, the movies are a little corny, but uh, nonetheless, you ghouls make it worth watching." No, thanks. All right, it's very shock theater. I think Demonica's hotter than the devil herself. Oh, oh man, Demonica, this is your man. week. I guess so. Oh. Hey, Laszlo Renfield, keep up the great work. I love, I love to draw, and maybe I'll send you guys some drawings. That's from cool. George Nicole I love and, to look at the and Craig Sims from Hammond, Indiana. Oh, thank, thank you, you, Hammond, Hammond. Indiana. All right, we got one here from a Jeffrey Court. Court. Says hi, my Nick. Or cow art. My, I don't know. Hi, my name is Nick Court of Shanahan, Illinois. Can you guys give me an autographed picture, picture please, in the best show? Oh, um, plus, Demonica's hot. No. Oh, God, man, Demonica. Hey, yeah. if you guys want an autographed picture, come to our, you know, yeah, we're going to Norm's so Pumpkin Patch, October hot. 20th and 21st. You can check out our website. We're in the e-groups, because you all the information how to get to that event. We'll be glad to give out any autographs to anybody. Just come to the event. That goes out to Nick Court from Shanahan, Illinois. We've got one here from, uh, Hi guys, my name is Josh. Here, hey hailing, Josh. hailing from Purdue University, West Lafayette. Just writing to say you, you, your show kicks blank. Can't say that naughty word. What a dash dash. <laughs> okay. I've been watching for a few months, and and uh, who knows, maybe I can send you guys some flicks produced by independent filmmakers. Bring it ah, on. Bring it on. Also, oh, I'd like yeah. to add you guys to uh, you guys are in the. Uh, I can't even read that word. McCutcheon. McCutcheon. McCutcheon Hall, and introduce myself. 
they all agree that Demonica is one of the hottest and most charming personalities on television. Ah, we salute you. Rachel. Oh, wow. See, they do called, like you. I've been called many things, but charming isn't one of them. <laughs> got, another, got another one for Demonica. She's, she's oh, having a good day. Another one? Hey, Demonica, Laszlo Renfield, love children shouldn't play with dead things. Yeah, yes. it was good. But hey, by, and glory. by the looks of Terry, it was pretty cold in that, on that island. Yeah, she was pretty freaking out. <laughs> Can you guys tell me when you guys will be showing Corpse Grinders? That's coming soon. We're going to get that movie. Yep. Got my youngest son, Scott, hooked on your show, working on the rest of the family, so keep up the great work. And that goes out to Tim from Tinley Park. Hey, Tim. Going Thank away. you, Tim. Yep. Got one here from, uh, from Chicago. This is a new viewer. I have been watching your program since, it, since it's been on. And I love to watch oh. your program. I was wondering if you could show either of those these movies, House of Seven Corpses from 1973. Sounds like a good one. Of course, Curse of the Living Corpse from 65. Keep up the good work, Cecilia. That's a good thing about corpses. William Polito from Chicago. Hey, William. Thanks, William. Appreciate yeah. it. See, we get some good mail here. Oh, oh we got yeah. another one from Joey Draven. Oh, he's complaining. Uh oh. I missed your show September 30th because I was at a Kiss concert. Oh, can't blame oh, him for hey, that. I, yeah. But I did it's catch okay. it last night. You're forgiven. That movie rocked. He's talking about children shouldn't play with yeah, that thing. Yeah, it was pretty good. Huh? Not yeah. bad. Is there any way I could get a copy of that video? I didn't get a chance to tape it because he wasn't in town. Okay. Well, we'll see what we can do, Joey. Maybe well, we, we might copy. be able to rerun it. All right. Sometime. Hi, I have a question for Renfield. Mr. All right, ears uh, open. Got a question for Randy. Pull the worms out. Where did you get the jester hat? And thanks a lot. I absolutely love the show. Where'd you get that hat, Renfield? Well, actually, if you really want to know, I got it from a friend who borrowed it from a friend <laughs> who left it at my house. And at the last minute, I had to grab something for my head. And it happened to be this. It was okay. either this or a bucket. <laughs> and that's where I got it. Actually, the name of the girl is Judy or Julie. Well, that goes to Extreme Pack of AOL.com. Whatever. <laughs> All right, Extreme. we got one here. From JollyEvilDeadClowns.com. Evil Dead Clowns. Can you believe this? <laughs> Hi. I like that. Hi, Jolly here. Band of motley clowns from Crown Point and stopped by Horrifying.com and created a virtual card for you guys. Actually, it was a really cool card. It's pretty much on the back here. Kind of neat. I don't know if you guys can see this. It says, uh, love the show, Aww. love the website, and I hope to see you guys at Norm's Pumpkin Patch in October. And you will. Keep up, keep up the great work and happy Halloween. Okay, we're going to read one more. We're a little oh, short on time. Happy. I want to, let's see here, get one more good one here so we can get this done. Okay. There's so oh, many good, good. ones. I grew up in, oh, it's a good one. It's from Tony Wood. He says, I grew up in Northwest Indiana, but I've been living in New York City New for the York. past 10 years. I was home visiting my folks and bored as, as blank. I can't say that word. I started okay. flipping through the channels when my, to my maze. I was shocked. To see you guys ran a, ran a Ray Dennis Steckler movie, and that's how I discovered your great show. You are truly keeping up the spirit of UHF television. <laughs> Somebody <laughs> has to. A lot. Is that actually. a compliment? I thought infomercials and franchises and syndications had wiped out all these great movies and this type of programming. Uh, keep up the great work, and, and you, obviously you beat out UPN and Fox. He thinks we are one of the top shows, and he wants to thank ah, us a lot. He's a very on, wise you, person. <laughs> well, anyways, he wants to, this, is, this goes out to Tony Wood. He wants to thank us very much, and he's wondering if he can get tapes of the shows. Tony, we are working on that. If you happen to get a, get a copy of this show, we will respond back to you. Again, that goes out to Tony Wood. Anyways, guys, if you'd like to email or write Graveyard Theater, you can now do it to the address, which is now on the bottom of the screen. Bam. Check out our website. We are going to be appearing at Norm's Pumpkin Patch the 20th and 21st of this month. You guys who want to be there, get your autographs, pictures, all kinds of cool stuff. Check in with us and tell us you love Graveyard Theater. Until then, guys, we really do have to get back to this movie, so let's roll it. Yep, here we go. What's he doing now? The right. line is gone. Whenever you're ready, Before Charlie. Camera, hey, Ryan. Yeah. Ryan, cue us, okay, with that cardboard? Because Brian's got to hold the I camera. I can't read the can't bottom. The My time. bottom line is right. gone. Just throw it in the window. I can see you pretty good. Did it show up on yours? Yeah, exactly. No, my line's gone. My bottom line's gone. Oh. Well, it's no. not on there either. Don't worry about it. Just add a little bit. Okay. All right. We're going to All right, yeah. Okay. Oh, I'm just going over this yeah. again. Okay. Again. 
One second. No, okay. I'll just kind of. We kind of got it. It's real I'll, long. It, we got it. I'll make it as close as I can. All right. <clears throat> Welcome to another edition of Graveyard Theater. Of course, I'm Laszlo, and this is my toothy fang built body to Monica. Built body? Well, it's close enough. <laughs> okay, whatever. <laughs> well, right. hey, my ghosts and ghouls out there, I have one question for you. Why visit what? a graveyard? Huh? I mean, there really ain't much going on out there, no. except you're running a bunch of people that look like this guy over here. Hey. Like you want that. Demonica, Don't waste your time. Demonica, shouldn't you be out terrorizing villagers or doing something of that nature? No, oh, that'd be much more fun, but <laughs> I'm stuck here with you. Yeah, that's true. Well, I'm, you know, I'm wondering where Renfield is. Yeah, I hope he dug something up now. good. I mean, man, lately the movies have just stank oh, so oh, bad. Man. Well, here comes Renfield. Hey, Renfield. Hi, Stink everybody ass. out Stink there. Bad. I thought I heard my name being mentioned. Yes, your name was mentioned. Yep. Better been mentioned in a good way. Hey, well, you, what's this week's movie? You guys oh, ready for man. it? Yeah, we're ready. You're ready for it, Martin? 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 That must have been important. Oh, this wait. is a black and white. It's a Japanese film. Oh, okay. And no, it's not Godzilla, but it's just as good. Well, what is it? What is it? It's Gamera. Oh, Gamera, oh, the uh, flying right. turtle with the flying. As a matter of fact, it's the second Gamera ever made. It's called Gamera the Invincible from Ooh. 1966. Ooh, 66? 66. We're getting up in the world, folks, big oh, time. Oh, this is fun. Ooh. So if you like turtles that fly and, <laughs> and, and scream and stomp on everything, oh, you're going to like you. this movie. Well, I don't uh, know if I'm going to like it or not. Well, I got Red no Field. choice. Whether you bring in a good movie or a bad movie, I'm still stuck here watching it Red with you two. It better be a good movie. Maybe we should tell the folks to sit back and let's roll this film. Well, you guys are my hell. All right, we're, we're going to roll this film. So let's roll this. This is a good movie, movie or bad you guys movie. Don't like matter. I'm still stuck here with you two bozos. Ooh, okay. Well, thanks bozo. for making me feeling, <laughs> feeling like home. Yeah, no problem. Someone has their money. I know, it's just that when you say, shouldn't I be out terrorizing villagers or something? And I go, I sure hope Renfield, I just pull that out of the sky. Yeah, it something. doesn't have anything to do with it. Well, yeah, just, just kind of commend it. Okay. Yeah. All right, let's roll. We'll do it the same way to start on one. Okay. Yeah, you ready? Here we go. Yeah. yeah. Welcome to another edition of Graveyard Theater. Of course, I'm Laszlo, and this is my sexy, toothy, fane, body and all, Demonica. Yeah, and this is my lame brain, <laughs> Laszlo. Well, well, hello, my ghosts and ghouls. <laughs> Guess what? I got one question for you guys. What? Why go into a graveyard? Yeah, really. Why? I mean, <laughs> you run around there, there's nothing going on, really, and you end up running into people that look like this guy. Well, are you here. saying I'm ugly, Demonica? Well, I'm not saying you're pretty. Okay. <laughs> but, I mean, what's, don't waste your time, kids. Don't even bother. Okay. Well, anyways, Demonica, shouldn't you be out there terrorizing villagers, getting blood or something of that nature? Well, duh. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm, I'm Well, I just kind of hope that right now that Renfield picks a good movie. Yeah, I where mean, is Renfield old, anyways? Once lately, I mean, they just think so bad. He's always late. Aha, here he is on time this time. Hi, hey, Renfield. everybody out there. I thought my name was being mentioned. Renfield, what is this week's movie? We, okay. Holding us in suspense here. Oh, you guys ready for it? Yeah, we're ready oh, for I look, it. Oh, I have a choice. <laughs> I guess I mean, no. come on. <laughs> come Whether on. the movie's good or bad, I still have to deal with you two bozos. Right. Right. What is this week's movie? Well, come you on. might like it. I know you will like it out there. It's a black and white from uh, 1966. It's a Japanese film, all? but it's not Godzilla. What is it? Okay. Gamera. Oh, all right. That's not The bad. total. The spinning yeah. total. This is the spinning. second Gamera. Mm. This is the second Gamera film ever made called Gamera the Invincible. Well, guys, oh. we hope you like this movie. It's 66, it's black and white, so Renfield, tell them to roll this movie. Well, you better roll this movie and pop some popcorn because we're <laughs> gonna have some turtle action here. <laughs> oh, boy. Hey, let's, have to, let's have some turtle soup. There we go. Oh, you're gonna make me cook, huh? I don't think so. <laughs> Oh, uh, Nick Ryan? Jill at the front desk at WIN. She called me today and somebody called in and said that movie rocked. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we're ready. Right. 
Wow, Demonica, hmm. this movie rocks. Well, I liked when Gamera attacked that shit. Yeah, kind of cool. Oh, here comes Renfield. Hey, Renfield, got the shovel too. <laughs> what are you happy about? What am I happy about? I'm getting a package shipped to me from overseas. I take it you haven't seen the last few minutes of this movie. Oh, uh, actually, I haven't. <laughs> Why? What's going on, hey, Demonica? Hey, haven't you checked out the newspaper yet? The newspaper? The no. Newspaper. What's going on? <laughs> Well, Gamera, I guess. Uh, well, why don't you just go get one and get the Gamera. trailers while you're right. at it? I'm sorry. It was supposed to be her line, and I. I and you, you said just, Gamera. Yeah, yeah, you just start. Camera. I was supposed to say Gamera. I wasn't even supposed to say that. Say, just go get a newspaper. He said, why haven't you read the newspaper? Yeah. yeah. You're supposed to tell him to go get one. Just go get a newspaper and find out. Okay. 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 <clears throat> Wow, Demonica, this movie's rocking! Oh, yeah, I liked when Gamera attacked that shit. Well, wow. speaking of attacking, here comes Renfield with a shovel. Hey, guys. <laughs> what are you so happy about? What am I happy about? Yeah, what are you happy what about? What am I happy about? I'm getting a package from overseas. I take it you haven't seen the last few minutes of this movie, huh? Uh, no, why? What did I miss? Just go get a newspaper and find out, man. Newspaper. Yeah, and, and while you're out there, go get the trailers too. And oh, yeah. Hop to it. Happy. Yeah, I knew don't drag a, your feet. Don't drag your feet. Go I on. Knew there was a catch don't be slow. Get out of here. Oh, All right, well, anyways, we're going to get back to the movies. So let's roll it. Get out of here. If I only had something to throw. Oh, I'm telling you. Yeah, glass. That'll work. Oh, that ghost tour one we did, you might want to run again. How's it going? Got in one, take three. Yeah. Five, four. Wow, Demonica, this turtle movie's really rocking. Oh yeah, I liked it when Gamera attacked that shit. Gamera. Right, well, speaking of attacking, here comes Renfield with his shovel. Keep it back, man. Hey, how's it going? What are you smiling about? What am I smiling at? <laughs> well, I'm just waiting for a package that's coming from across the sea. Well, oh, good. man, I take it you yeah, haven't seen the last few minutes of the movie, no, huh? Oh, no, why? What did I miss? Go buy a newspaper and find out. Yeah, and while you're out, go get the dang trailers. Yeah, don't drag your feet. Yeah, get be the trailers snappy. and be snappy about it. Yeah, don't get all slow about uh, it. I knew there was a catch. Go on, get out of here. You ain't back yet. <laughs> go, 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 go. Well, our Redfield's getting our trailers. We'll roll back in. Might be a little fast you didn't carry that shovel with you everywhere. Okay. Yeah, I take it didn't get your overseas package then. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Demonica, what? you know, that Toshio needs to make friends with people, not turtles. Well, he needs to set that turtle free before it dies. Well, not that I care. Well, the, the turtle should probably live longer than us, even though we are dead. Well, well, that makes sense. Oh, okay, well, here we come with Renfield. How's it going, guys? <laughs> I got this week's trailer. Okay. I hope it's good. What's What's the thermos for? Yeah. Oh, the sir. Oh. I went. I went back to the crypt, and okay. um, I had some turtle soup cooking there. And um, you know, speaking of turtles, how's that granddaddy of them all doing? Well, he's flying around, causing, ha causing havoc and tearing the city up. You know how it works. Well, I guess yeah. you got to do something. Well, yeah. we got our trailers this week. Maybe we should roll these suckers. Well, let's Might do, as well do it. something with it. Well, these are actually kind of cool in the way, and better be. Oh, how do you know you didn't even open it up? Well, yet. I'm just wondering if we got them out of the right box. Anyways, guys, let's roll these turtles. <laughs> Yeah, I go clean back there. Oh, I'm telling you. <laughs> you ain't telling me nothing. Could you shove this in the back of my car? Toshi needs to make friends with people, not turtles. Okay. Toshi needs to make friends with people, not turtles. Okay. Thank you. <clears throat>
Hey, DeMonica, Why? you know that Torsio should make friends with people. Torsio? Torsio, close enough, not turtles. Yeah, you're right, you're right. <laughs> I mean, he needs what he needs to do is set that turtle free before it dies. Well, that not turtle. Not that I care or anything. That turtle's probably gonna live longer than us, even though we're dead anyway, so what's that the difference? That makes sense. <laughs> well, here comes Renfield. Hey, how's it going, everybody? Oh, good. Uh, I found uh, uh, trailers, but you know what? What? I couldn't find the newspaper anywhere. <laughs> yeah, and I think you didn't get your overseas package no. either. Hey, uh, and what's, what's the what's, what's the story yeah, with what's the thermos? For? Oh, um, I thought you guys might have tried some of this uh, turtle soup that I got from the crypt. Mm -hmm. I tell okay. you what, it's nice and creamy. <laughs> oh, speaking of turtle. Mm hmm. What's up with the granddaddy of them all? Well, you see now, there's turtles flying around, causing havoc along the city, you know, knocking the buildings down, that kind of stuff. Hey, Usual stuff. Getting kind of cool. Well, sounds like a lot of fun. Actually, I should be sticking out back here instead of doing all your <laughs> errands. Hey, you got a good errand here, because this is our trailers, folks, and maybe we should roll these trailers. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Hope they still work. Oh, maybe. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna put some loose clothes. Oh, here they come right now. Alright, so. A lot of work. Alright, we're gonna start on two. Yeah. Wow, Redfield, you sure picked some gruesome trailers this oh, time. Yeah, gruesome is God. right. <laughs> they're they're jumpy, too. Yeah, they're oh, jumpy. that came out of nowhere. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of gruesome trailers, man, I mean, come on, can't you get some, like, more Godzilla trailers or Gamma trailers or something like that? <laughs> well, you know what? I'll, get, I'll try to do the best I can. Um, I thought you guys would like it. Yeah, it was all right. Well, why don't you tell me what your favorite trailers yeah, is? Yeah, destroy all these? planets, man. No, it's Gamera versus Monster X, 1970. Well, personally, I like Gamera, the something of the universe. You know why? Because it was made from 1995, and it was the last Gamera movie ever made. <laughs> they retired the turtle, I guess. Well, Redfield, you know, well, these you trailers know what? were pretty good. This man guy, he still don't understand Gamera. I mean, all he's got to do is all set right. the thing free. All right, just free. because I say you know, Gamera instead of Gamera, you kid. guys make fun of me. Yeah, well, Gamera, you make it sound like a disease. All right, well, I'm yeah. close. I'm it's close. Gamera. Gamera. All right, I think Two people souls. are tired of seeing us argue. They want to get back to the movie. Oh, so come let's, on, they let's like get back to this argue. movie, folks. Sorry, I thought you were going to go. When you see it on the movie, doing it, and it's in the movie. Totally it totally makes sense with things. the movie. Totally two different things. <clears throat> okay. Wow, Renfield, you sure picked some gruesome trailers. No doubt. Gruesome is right. Yeah, I mean, come on, can't you pick some more Gamera trailers? Yeah, or something some decent Godzilla trailers or something? Well, you know, I can only do the, the best I can do with these two hands here. <laughs> mm -hmm. Come on, you had to like them. What was your favorite ones? What was your favorite Gamera? Well, I like Destroy All Planets. No, mine is Gamera versus Monster X 1970. Well, Gamera. Well, Gamera. Yeah. Personally, my favorite is Gamera, the Guardian of the Universe. Okay. It's from 1995, and it was the last Gamera movie ever made. And in this movie, Gamera wasn't evil like he was in this one, which what? I still don't think he was evil. You know, well, man needs to take a lesson from that little boy. I mean, yeah. all he's got to do is set the turtle free. That's it. Come yeah. on. Yeah, well, nice. well, you know, this is the type of movie where well, you got a flying turtle, there, just like a Godzilla film. I'll be Same quiet. Thing. Let's just get back into this. <laughs> Let's roll this movie. Yeah, I want to see what happens with that turtle. <laughs> if you want to work on these and bring them back to us, then it's fine. Okay. Gamma, really turn Gamma up those here. What camera are we on? Okay, you guys just start on one. On one? Okay. okay. <clears throat> you guys ready? Yeah. Uh-huh. Oh, right. hold up. Wait, hold on. Hold on. This thing fell. All right. I'll just pull. It's got a hood. The hood there goes go. over. And that kind of holds right. it there. All right. Yeah. Five, four. Hey, 
Hey, Redfield. Hey, Demonica. You know, this camera is really... Too soon. I, wait till I hear you. I saw the light. <laughs> yeah, but watch his fingers. Oh, okay. He's doing a fade. Oh, I'm sorry. Five, four. Hey, Demonica. Hey, Renfield. This camera's really tearing up the floor. Oh, uh, yeah, that joint command. Better hurry up and do something. Mm, like, yeah. try Plan Z. <laughs> Plan Z. Plan Z's their last chance. Yeah, you telling me. You know, that, that's not... not uh, uh, uh. There he went through the rest of the damn alphabet. <laughs> yeah, let's do that again. There, go. <laughs> there he went through the rest of the alphabet. <laughs> How about just, whoopsie. Oh, that's funny. Don't set your oh, armpit on fire. Mystery Science Theater 3000 is off the air in a couple months. Here we go. Okay, we'll start on Andrew Wanda. Yeah. Five, four. Hey, Demonica. Hey, Renfield. It looks like Gamera's tearing up Tokyo. Well, Joint Command better hurry up and do something. I mean, yeah. Try Plan Z. This tur turtle. Oh, man. Plan Z. <laughs> Plan Z's their last chance. They already went through the whole alphabet. There's no else to go. Well, what about that Tosho's plan to, like, make Gamera a good little title? Oh, yeah, like well, Demonica, if you want to go with that plan, that's fine. But we got to get back to this movie. Yeah. Yeah, let's roll it. <laughs> <laughs> we smell the smell. He just sings right on the camera. Ew. All right, let's go. Same as last. Five, four. You know, Demonica, you know, Renfield, this camera is sure tearing up this Tokyo place. Yeah, well, though, that joint command better hurry up and do something. It's I mean, a total like, Try waste. Plan Z, huh? Plan Z? Plan Z, that's their last chance. They already went through the rest of the alphabet. There's nothing else to do. Well, what about Toshio's plan? I mean, of making Gamera a good little title. Yeah. Well, Demonica, I know you got some great plans, but maybe we should get back to the movie and see if they tear up Tokyo? As if. As if. Let's roll back into this. <laughs> How about throwing a rake at it? Oh, man, it's better. That's something. So Where do they use the primer? Oh, fuck. Cut in three, take one. <coughs> okay, starting on one, right? Okay, we're starting on one. Okay, you guys are ready, right? Yeah. Yeah. Five, four. You know, Demonica, you know, Renfield, that must be Pant Plan Z. Get the uh, Gamera to follow the fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it, that's the whole thing. It's supposed to get him to go to that Hoshima Island. But one thing I want to know is how they know he likes hot food. Hot food? You know what I noticed? That Toshio person. I tell you what, man, he's a freaky little kid <laughs> because he likes turtles too much. No, you know, Gamera, he could take care of himself. He really can? Yes, he you can. You really think he can? I know he can. Well, he might be. He's a pretty big person. <laughs> okay. I don't know about that. <laughs> I don't know either. This doesn't sound too good, does it, Demonica? Yeah, I think you screwed this one up. Yeah, 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 because you cut him off. No, no I, 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 I... You didn't finish your thing yeah, about the... Uh, he loves turtles and stuff. Actually, I didn't. Loves them. Yeah, you just like the soup. Up oh, until recently. There you go. Okay. Well, let's see if we can get plans. Okay, cool. All right. Let's throw it again. Yeah. I like the candy. All right, yeah, we're ready. Follow the fire. That uh, must be the same way to get started. Follow one. the fire. Okay, ready? Five, four. You know, guys, that must be Plan Z to get Gamera to follow the fire. Yeah, it's supposed to lead him up to that Hoshima Island, man. <laughs> but one thing I want to know is how the heck did they know that he liked hot food? Well, you, huh? know, you know what I noticed, Demonica? Is what? That that Toshio kid, he was pretty sad. I guess he was concerned about Gamera. No, Gamera can take care of himself. Oh, yeah, you really think so? Oh, I know so. Well, you know what? Sure. What? Yeah, I guess he could. He is a pretty big turtle, isn't he? <laughs> He's a big turtle. Yeah, come on. <laughs> well, I think somebody screwed up here. Yeah. It wasn't me. Wasn't me, because I only got two lines. Hang on. I ah. didn't say, but I don't love yeah, him. I know. That's the part I was looking for. Okay. Take three. All right, what do I keep doing? Uh, you guys ready? Yeah. yeah. Yep. Here we go again. That must be Plan Z to get Gamera to follow the fire. Okay. Five, four. 
You know what? This is what you guys meant by Plan Z, to get Gamera to follow the fire. Yeah, so he can go to that Hoshima Island, man. <laughs> yeah, but what I want to know is how the heck did they know that he liked hot food? Oh, I mean, oh, oh. Eat, like raw fish and stuff. Well, yeah. you know what I noticed about all this? That Toshio guy, he's really sad. I guess he's sort of concerned about Gamera. Oh, no, don't worry about Gamera. He can take care of himself, guys. No doubt he's a pretty big turtle. <laughs> You know what? What? And I think he's sort of freaky, too. Yeah, he's freaky. Because he likes that turtle too much. I mean, I like turtles, but not that much. Well, just the soup. Uh, up until recently, it's sort of turned for the worse. Well, guys, this whole Plan Z works. Maybe we should roll back into this and see if it works. Yeah. That's what that smell is. Yeah, I, I think I got a hork. <laughs> oh, man. Here. If you got yeah. a pure Hurl. hurling Hurl this. That. Yeah. Yeah. Plan Z is to camera follow the fire. Yeah, right. yeah. Five, four. You know, guys, that must be the part Plan Z you're talking about to get Gamera to follow the fire. Yeah, it's supposed to lead him up to that Hoshima Island. <laughs> yeah, that's what I said, Hoshima. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, no, back off. <laughs> well, what I want to know is, how the heck did they know he want, that he liked hot food? I mean, you know, turtles eat fish yeah, and yeah, yeah, stuff food. like that. Yeah, you, you know what I noticed? That Toshio kid looks so sad. You know, I guess he must uh, feel a little concerned about, uh, oh, Gamera. <laughs> Don't be worried about Gamera. He can take care of himself. Yeah, he's a big turtle. Toshio. <laughs> you know, I sort of, now thinking about it, I think he's sort of a sick kid. Because, I mean, don't you think he loves turtles too much? I mean, don't get me wrong, I like turtles too, but, um... Not as much as him. <laughs> well, you just like the soup about that much. Well... Not up until recently. <laughs> well, guys, let's yeah. check and see if Plan Z works and get back to this I movie. I think this turtle soup really turned for uh, the best. Oh, that smell is. Oh, this movie. Here, here. <laughs> over there. Here. Oh, 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 over there. Oh, over there. there. Oh, you're making me dizzy. <laughs> oh, crap. Here, oh, save the family to Mars. The time right. is near. <laughs> well, I hate They're, they're not in there, Ronnie. Ronnie, we took those home. They're not there. She took the can of the final All right. Yeah, let's really help out. Let's see if we can wing this. Whenever you're ready. Right, yeah, let's start on one. I gotta make a secret. We're in black. I guess plan C oh. was sending Gamera to Mars. Okay. Yeah, you guys ready? Yeah. Alright, great. I guess we're ready then. Five, four, You know, guys, I guess Plan Z was sending Gamera to Mars. Oh, wait, then why the heck did they just say sending Gamera to Mars? Oh. Well, they had to keep it a secret. It's from who, Gamera? He's well, a turtle. <laughs> well, I guess so, but what about that little boy, Toshio? What about the little boy, Toshio? I don't know. He's just a little boy, and you know how boys talk. <laughs> this time was my turn to goof this up. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. All right. <laughs> oh, yeah, sayonara, Gamera. Yeah, we'll get it. Just gotta get through this one, guys, and you're up next. Close, take two. What? Just plan Z oh, okay. was sending Gamera to Mars. Okay, here we go. All right, we'll start on one. Uh, <laughs> tasty. Whew. All right. Five, four. You know, guys, I guess this plan Z was sending Gamera to Mars. Then why didn't they just say? Sending Gamera to Mars. <laughs> well, I guess they had to keep it a secret, didn't they? Yeah. From who? Gamera? He's a turtle! Well, I oh, guess so. Uh, Him and that little boy of his, Toshio. <laughs> well, sayonara, Gamera. Well, you know, it kind of reminds me of Gamera, you know, uh, Gamera. You know how he likes all these just hurt, to, to cut. Damn it. All right, the love is flowing. Next time, just start tap dancing. Yeah. <laughs> Gamera was, Gamera. Okay, that's, I got it now. Whoa, I guess Plan Z was sending Gamera to Mars. Okay. We have not had such a bad day. No. Gamera comes back in other movies ready. like... We're all ready. Bring, Bring it on. Yeah. Bring it on. Come on. Plan Z is sending Gamera to Mars. Five, four. You know, guys, I guess Plan Z is sending Gamera to Mars. Oh, come on. <laughs> I mean, why didn't they just say, sending Gamera to Mars? It's a Tokyo movie. What do you expect? Well, they had to keep it a secret. <laughs> From who? Gamera? He's a turtle. Oh, yeah. Gamera. 
Gamera on that boy of his Toshio. <laughs> oh, well, sayonara, Gamera. Well, you know how Gamera comes back in all these movies. You know, like Demonica's favorite movie, Destroy All Monsters. Yeah, that's it. That's when all the Earth giant monsters do battle with Ghidra. <laughs> oh, yeah, that would be a good one for you to get there. Hey, right I'm now. working on Speaking it. Speaking about a good movie next week, guys. We got a good one. Oh, oh sure. Yeah. It's called, we actually got our very first mummy movie. It's called Ooh. The Mummy's Revenge. Ooh. Wow. Is it sort of like Montezuma's Revenge? Yeah, yeah, yeah I really. think so. I remember last time he had Mummy's Revenge, and mm. we had to give him lots of pink bismuth. And guys, think about okay. it. We finally get a good movie. It's The Mummy's Revenge. There's not a lot of mummy movies out there that we can run, but it's we got a good one. Pretty gory. Yeah, it actually is slightly gory. Too. Is it really? Oh, yes, it is. Is it color on feel? Yes, it is oh, color. It's slightly gory, but all the gore and the other stuff makes up for it. Corn? What year is this movie made? No, no, it's slightly corny. It's not bad. You're going to see. All right, all right, all right. Well, anyways, guys. What, what kind of consistency? Lots of it. <laughs> yeah, guys like this movie, Gamera. And anyways, we got a great movie, The Mummy's Revenge, next week. So again, I'm Laszlo Sidamonica, and this is Renfield, and we're Graveyard Theater, and we'll see you next week. Bye. Have a bad night. Oh, you bet. After watching this. <laughs> Kid of his. Just what sounds better? Kid punk kid, that punk, 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 punk kid, Toshio. And that punk ass okay. boy of his. Can I say ass? No, 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 no. 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 Ryan watches these. Don't do that. <laughs> Get rid of the All right, I'll try to keep it clean. I guess Plan Z was sending Gamma to Mars. Yeah. All right. Five, four. You know, guys, I guess that Plan Z was sending Gamera to Mars. Oh, really? Oh, really? Now, why the heck didn't they just say, sending Gamera to Mars? It's a Japanese movie. Don't oh, worry about it. They had to keep it a secret to Monica. <laughs> From who? Gamera? He's a turtle. Well, Like I said, morons. Gamera and that boy of his, Toshio, that punk. <laughs> oh, yeah, hello. Sayonara, Gamera, huh? Well, this movie, Ga Gamera, is sort of like all the Gamera movies, you know, like Demonica's favorite, Destroy All Monsters. Oh, and yeah. That's when all the Earth giant monsters come around to do battle with Hydra. Hydra. Hydra, Hydra. If you can say Gamera, <laughs> I can say Gamera. Or whatever it is. You got that right. Hey, guys, we got a great movie next week. Oh, yeah. oh really? really? We got a good movie. It's called The Mummy's Revenge. Oh, yes. didn't you have that once? No, we oh, didn't. Yeah, this you, no, 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 it was no. the mummy's revenge. Remember, you had to keep taking all that pink stuff Ooh, to get man. to go away. Well, basically, cool. it's, um, it's just a basic B-movie, the mummy B story. Movies. It's actually not too bad. It's a little corny here and there, but it does have some gory parts. Ah, gory. Where was this movie made? Gore. 1972. Ooh, it's it's got gore. So you might not want to let some of the younger kids watch, but the other ones can. All right, Bye. guys. Hey, anyways. Yes, says, uh... <laughs> I guess mom and dad. <laughs> hey, we hope you guys enjoy camera. And next week's movie is The Mummy's Revenge. I hope you guys are here to watch it with us. Until then, no, I'm right. Laszlo. This is Demonica, and this is Renfield, and we are Graveyard Theater, and we'll see you next week. Have a bad night. <laughs> no, they already have. They watched They this. watched our movie. Yeah, right, sister. <laughs> okay. Hobby quarter, take one. Yay! Okay, you're sure enough. One, okay. You guys ready up there? Yeah. <clears throat> Five, four. You see, Demonica, you see Renfield, you have to get up pretty early in the morning to defeat Gamera. Yeah, that freezing bomb didn't do <laughs> nothing. He just well, nothing but flip him over on his back, and that was it. <laughs> well, that Eskimo stone showed Gamera flying in the clouds, but see, all those people thought it was waves. He <laughs> thought he was swimming. I'll hey. show you what people know. Renfield, Demonica, we got what a time is it, Renfield? It must be Monster Hobby Corner yeah. time. It's it's a hobby like Corner. No monster. Wow, well, he's oh, not okay. a monster, and maybe it's not a hobby, but we got a good show for you this he week. It's a monster idea, I tell you that much. Anyways, guys, we want to introduce Mav. Hey, Mav, welcome to Graveyard Theater. Thank you. And 
Mav is affiliated with a tape that they did on a place called Salations, right? Salations. Yes. Salations, close enough. I've seen it. Well, Mav, I tell you what, why don't you tell us a little bit about it and what got you into doing this tape, and we'll I work from I there. Did. Well, we live uh, two blocks away from the place, and we were bored one day and decided that uh, we're going to go film it. Mm -hmm. Found okay. out that uh, we can make a little bit of money off of it. Mm -hmm. um, we just released uh, the special edition version. Now, is this like a haunted school or something? It was a school uh, many, many years ago. And, How many, many? Um, we're talking 40s, 50s. Ooh. And according to the urban history. legend, uh, the headmaster there had killed 35.